Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be reading a Sugawara X listener. This video was requested by a YouTuber named Coffee Time, so thank you for requesting this video. Um, and yeah, this is a jealous Sugawara X listener, so yeah, let's get right on to the video. Third point of view. You were a third year student, and you were in Sugawara Koshi's class. You were best friends with Kyoko, and you helped with all the volleyball games and practices. You even helped him clean up at the end of practice. You developed a slight crush on Suga, but kept her quiet. However, Daichi had a way to break your shell and find out that you liked him. Because Daichi knew you liked Suga, you stayed close to him to make sure that he didn't tell anyone. Even your best friend didn't know. Currently, you were in one of Karasuno's practices, standing next to Daichi as he made sexual jokes about you and Suga, blushing you you punched him and laughed. And he laughed, nudging you where he was. You saw Suga and catch a glimpse of you as he served Tanoya, who was practicing on his saves. He was called he called a timeout and walked over to Daichi and you. You forced Daichi to stop making jokes and punched him by punching him in the stomach. He toppled over and gave you an evil glance. You waved you laughed and waved at Suga, hiding your blush with a smile. Daichi stood up and punched you in the arm as you glared at him. Both of you, wait, both Suga and Daichi, laughed as you pouted. That hurt, Daichi-kun, you said as you ran beside Suga. Suga wouldn't hurt me, right, Suga? He blushed and started to stutter, thinking of an answer. Um, uh, no, I, I mean yes? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't hurt you, he said as Daichi started laughing again. First name, you believe Suga won't hurt you, he said as you blushed. His inside joke became worse as it got older. Um, this is an author's note talking about the joke. Author's note, you were in their classes for your first and second year, but only Suga was in your class as a third year. Suga's face became filled with anger because he didn't know what the inside joke was. I would not hurt the first name, unlike you, Daichi, he said as he blushed the color of crimson. Daichi backed away as he explained it was only a joke. Sukabara told you to stay after, after practice, to talk with him. End of practice. Time skip. You helped them clean up racing with Kageyama and Hinata. You laughed with Kageyama. You laughed when Kageyama tripped over Hinata's water bottle. You were done laughing and helped him up after you thanked him, and he ran to Hinata and yelled at him, grabbing his jacket. You decided to leave them alone as you finished cleaning the gym. Once you were done, you put your broom away and waited for everyone else to leave. Once everyone was gone, you turned the lights off in the room and walked to Suga, who was in the supply room, putting his school shoes on. Hey, you wanted to talk to me? You said, looking up. He said, looking. Uh, you said, as he looked up at you. Um, yeah, hold on a minute. He said, as he tied his shoes, standing up, looking at you. What's your relationship with Daichi? He whispered in your ear as you blushed, feeling his breath go down your neck. You struggled to find words. Uh, uh, I, uh, um, w w why? You stuttered as his mood changed dramatically. I will ask you again. What is your relationship with Daichi? He said, ignoring your question. You flinched at the tone as his tone became angry. Ignoring his question, he slammed you into a wall, crashing into a shelf. You cowered in pain. I, I, I don't know. He is just my friend, you said as a tear drifted on your cheek. He wasn't believing you, so he asked a different question. Why are you always standing next to him? Why are you, are you always blushing? He said, because you blushed. Well, uh, um, be because you started crying. All of a sudden, you were screaming out in agony because you didn't want to tell him your feelings. Why do you care? You screamed as he didn't move an inch. Because you're my friend and I don't want you to get hurt. He screamed back, just tell me first name, I need to know. You gave up trying to avoid the question and as he broke your shell. Fine, okay, Daisy's just my friend and he knows I like you. So I stand next to him to make sure he doesn't tell anyone. But tell me, but he tells me sexual jokes about us. How does that answer your question, Suga? Does it? You yelled as he backed away. W wait, you, you, like me? He said, blushing as he saw your trembling body. Yes, and I wasn't expecting to tell you like this. You said as you started crying. He instantly ran up to you and hugged you. 
I'm so selfish. I'm sorry for his name. I let my jealousy get the best of me, he said in his soothing voice. You hugged him so much your knuckles started to turn white as you grabbed his jacket. He pulled away and grabbed your, your tear-stained cheek, staring into your eyes. He took a deep breath and gathered your words. Gathered his words. I like you too, first name. So much. And I didn't want to see my best friend take my crush away. He would never care about you as much as I do. He would never love you as much as I would. And I didn't want to see you hurt, he said as his voice became shaky. You couldn't handle seeing the most bright-spirited person in the whole world cry, so you grabbed his cheek and slammed your lips against his. At first, the kiss was passionate, but it got rough and needy. Suka slipped his tongue into your mouth as you moaned in pleasure. He started- wait, he slipped his hand under your jacket. Wait, okay. <laughs> and traced circles on your back as you took his jacket off. You kissed for a while until the gym light turned on, and Tanaka's voice ranged through the room. He walked into the room and blushed. I left my water bottle on the court and set the lights on. Go get some, Sukuhara, he said as he closed the door. Laughing, the two of you organized yourself. Suka put on his jacket and smiled. Does that make us boyfriend and girlfriend now? He asked as he wrapped his arms around you. If you want us to be, he smiled and hugged him. He kissed your hand and grabbed you again. Come on, I'll walk you home. The two of you walked home in a relaxing silence. As soon as you came to the fork of the road where you split up, he gave you a kiss and hugged you, and then he left. Smiling, you touch your lips as you walked back to your house. Extended ending. Third person point of view. You walked into the gymnasium only to be swarmed by the volleyball team. All of them stared at you and asked a ton of questions. Is it true? Did you really cast Sugawara senpai? Noi and Hinata yelled in sync. You looked at Suga, who was standing on the court holding a volleyball. He smiled awkwardly and answered the how do they find out question with one word, Tanaka. The boys kept asking questions as you walked over to Suga. You hung your arm over his shoulder and answered with a simple yes. Eruptions of gasps entered the gym as they all yelled, telling the two to kiss again. You turned to Suga, who was blushing, and said, let's give them what they want. You kissed Suga passionately, hearing awes and oohs. All of a sudden, Daichi came up behind you two and pushed you over, yelling, Go get some, nickname. Laughing in the kiss, you both continued as a team went inside to practice. And you couldn't figure out where it goes from there. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the story, guys. That was kind of cute, not gonna lie. Um, at the end of it, I was getting a little flustered <laughs> because of how they were... Um, how they were like doing it <laughs> um that was really cute anyways thank you so much for requesting this video um this was a really cute story i should probably do more suga ones because honestly i love suga he's so cute anyways um yeah that was this sugawara x listener video um if you guys want me to do more suga ones make sure you to tell me in the comments and i'll do them for you guys also comment down below some characters you would like me other characters you like you that you'd like me to read and i'll definitely do this for you guys because i love doing your guys's requests it makes me feel like i'm interacting with you guys more and i really like that so thank you guys so much for listening to this video if you enjoyed make sure you subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for my future content thank you guys so so much for listening i hope you have a fantastic day and bye see you guys in the next video